We are continuing. I don't need to do an intro. Let's just say that you've regained the attention of a certain group that I represent. Stop beating around the bush. It's obvious that you're from the Brotherhood of Steel. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. If I wanted to kill you, we wouldn't be talking. That's a fair point. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. The Brotherhood needs your help, Doctor. Needs my help? Why? They seemed to have everything under control when I left. Did you abandon any projects you wanted to complete? Minor jump cut. Alright, let's continue. You should know better than to ask me that. If they didn't tell you what I was working on, they didn't want you to know. I'm certainly not going to put my neck on the line and spread their dirty little secrets. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? I was just told to get you to come back. The Brotherhood wants me back, and the best they can do is send a robot that does nothing but follow orders? Sorry, but you're going to have to do a lot better than that. The Institute is- So now you're just gonna hurt- mm -hmm. Come on. You Father trusts me, and so should he trusts you because you're family. The Brotherhood has always been straight with- I am getting a bit tired of all the secrets around here. Sometimes I feel like father- mm -hmm. But still- Your work- <sighs> You really know how to push my- You know, I never- All those innocent- Yet we hide- It's not right. I'll make my way back. Sure. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. Now, for the sake of keeping up with mm -hmm. them, I've been told to install a court. You're to be given full- Thank you. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay Paul is Madison. the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Speaking of, I trust our discussion will remain between the two of us. Now, I need to get back to work, and I'm sure you have other things to do. Madison's dead, oh well. Safety first. Remember that. Targeting package Report up anything I suspicious. Maybe I should take some courses with me. You're here. Mm -hmm. Dr. Watson can be a little... There's enough friction as it is between and us policies. and pretty much all the other departments. You going soft on me, Alana? My methods get results, and they will this time as well. You'll see. The directorate should take the synth escapes more seriously. Sometimes you have to lean on the other departments a little to get what you need. Hi, Doc. So, here you are. Justin Ayo, Acting Director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to Father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any... issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. 
The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precautions, hmm? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the synth retention unit. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. I'm sure it's best for everyone if the synths remain here. Certainly. We can't allow sophisticated Institute technology to fall into the wrong hands. The results could be disastrous. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. Why does it matter? If there is some defect in coarser combat programming, then it must be identified and corrected. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough probes. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. Very well. Greetings, ma'am. Fucking medicine. She's going to get absolutely fucking. She's gonna die. Because. Because of me. Receive word that Dr. Lee is returning to us. How cooperative do you think she'll be? I think she's confused right now. <laughs> no matter. Given the proper motivation, I'm certain she can be persuaded to see things our way. As soon as Dr. Lee arrives, we'll interrogate her aboard the Pridwin. She's been under the Institute's influence for the last decade, and we can't afford to take any chances. Now, I believe you still possess an important piece of data that Proctor Ingram is eagerly awaiting. I want you to bring it to her immediately. Once again, Knight, you don't fail to impress. Dismissed. Amazing. Alright, Proctor Ingram. Time to give you something that you fucking need. Here's your holotape, Proctor. Hope the data on that thing was worth it. Thanks. You know, it's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the Interceptor would do to you. I wasn't worried. After all, I built the device myself. I have confidence in everything I built, too. But that's because I'll only deal with technology that I understand. 
Speaking of technology, I don't understand. I'll get this holotape to Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. Hopefully, it'll reveal a weakness in their defenses. That would be the best case scenario. Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan scribes can get off of it. I'm sure the Institute has all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's gonna take some time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, I've got a new assignment for you. So, I bet you're eager to get your hand... He didn't tell me anything. Makes sense. Come on. Unless you're blind as a bat, and I'm sure you've noticed that we've been having a gantry in the talk. Max and Kells. Now the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new project comes in. This storage bay full of parts is what's left of Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Fortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. This is a waste of time. This isn't a request, Knight. Maxon put you on this project for a reason. I suggest you follow his orders to the letter. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. The first problem is his CPU. It's fragile, and every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. That doesn't sound hard to fix. Oh yeah, sure. I'll just run down to the local giant robot store and buy myself some how-to manuals. As much as I hate to admit it, Prime's power systems are out of my league. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving. Yay. go Attention Bravo 64 report to Armor Bay 2 Bravo 64 to Armor Bay 2 I heard that Elder Max got Doctor if you're here to talk me into working on Liberty Prime, you can forget it. You promised you'd help us. You're right, I did. But you neglected to mention that I'd be asked to work on Liberty Prime. I've been down this road with the Brotherhood before. Why would I make the same mistake twice? Help us end the Institute's greed. Yeah, I don't know if Dr. Lee's gonna listen to reason. All those people dying in the Commonwealth while I was surrounded by food, medicine, and comfort. How could I be so blind to the Institute's greed? 
Oh, you really know how to push my buttons, don't you? Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes ready. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online, but we'll get it done. Dumb and ugly had a child. It'd be a super. That's not very friendly. Or is it very necessary? <sighs> not very necessary, nor is it any necessary. Well, if things are off to a good start, isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Hmm, charming, isn't she? Maybe I should come back? It's fine. Don't worry about it. We might not be the best of friends, but we'll get the job done. Besides, we're working with one of Prime's original designers. In fact, since... The Sure. Anything you need. That's what I love about you. You're ready to leap into action, and I bet you don't have the faintest idea what I'm talking about. The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in his limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Now, before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck. Now I'm gonna have to go to this hospital. Yep, I am. Yay. Let's go. 
just wanted to fucking storm and fucking destroy. Hi, sir. Thank you for cooperating. Stood T forty five somehow. Extra ammo, very nice. Some more ammo. Twenty eight two millimeter ECs, holy shit. the country. Let's look for a room with hole in the floor. Which is right here. It's up for us. Lock's really strong.
Put an ammo fucking thing in there. I'm also confused as to how it got fitted, fitted in there. Fucking hell. I can't speak English. Up we go. Going up. My problem. somehow activate them. There's no time to waste when there's work to be done. Proctor Ingram. That's all four actuators. Delivered and done. Nice work. Right on schedule. I've completed the restoration of Prime's basic functions and he's ready to go. In fact, it's getting difficult to explain to the system why it can't move right now. Well, as soon as my scribes get those actuators in place, we'll have his arms and legs installed in no time. Which brings me to your next assignment. It won't be long before Prime can walk and talk, but he's missing one last important element. His nukes. Without them, his offensive systems aren't operating at peak capacity. 
shouldn't be a problem. Just tell me where they are. I wish I could. Prime's bomb pack is fitted for Mark 28 nuclear bombs. The same type of bombs that were dropped from aircraft during the Great War. The Commonwealth was a major staging area for the military's air force, so we assumed we wouldn't have trouble finding them. But since we arrived, our scouting teams haven't located a single bomb. That's going to be a problem. Without a fully loaded nuke pack, Prime won't have the firepower to take on the Institute. Maybe we can arm him with something else. It'd take months, or even years, to install a new weapon Mine. system.